What's up guys, <clears throat> quick video, uh, I just got a package in the mail and I want to thank the person that sent it to me and, and apologize being a couple of <clears throat> if I've been a little bit absent from YouTube recently as you can as I mentioned in another video I've been kind of busy with the new puppies kind of drive me nuts a little bit <laughs> but anyhow um, super cool super quick uh, I had just received a package from uh, um, Zombie Aras and uh, Ryan and really cool and he has a channel with all the family it's a really cool channel he does a really good video not a lot of video coming out later lately but really good content video which is which is cool actually really great editing by the way a lot of knowledge in every video they post about and and a while ago actually we were talking about he, he has I believe one or two SKS's I'm not 100 percent sure we're talking about modifica modify how to modify the, the carrier on SKS in order to um, put the magazine, Tapco magazine or whatever magazine, without actually opening the bolt, which is a problem. Normally, in order to do that, you got to remove the, of course, the original magazine from from the from the um, SKS and, and manually uh, open the bolt and insert the magazine. With this modification, which is, uh, let me get actually one one second. What he did, pretty much, I believe, uh, don't call me on that, I believe he ground off some material uh, from the carrier, from the one of the side of the carrier, uh, which is not, it's, it's kind of a pain in the ear to do, um, and I always um, wait to do it, also because I don't have a grinder, so um, I, I could have used the one at work, but I wasn't afraid of uh, using it. I mean, I'll fuck up something. But, um, one thing you gotta consider when you modify this, you gotta also uh, think about which kind of stock you're gonna use on. That being said, on my uh, Rifle 9 now I got an original SKS, Rinko SKS stock, in which makes it a little bit tight to insert the magazine. But it seems like the more I'm using the magazine, the more it's getting a little bit loose. That being said, I'm gonna show you how, what we did. So like I said previously, in order to uh, insert the magazine, of course the magazine is unloaded and the gun is unloaded, and the safety zone too, by the way. Can see. Um, in order to do that, we had to pull the bolt, insert the magazine, and when you remove the bolt, you gotta do the same exact operation. Uh, sorry, remove the magazine, you gotta do the exactly same operation. On the other hand, one other thing that doesn't help the operation uh, is actually the mag uh, latch, if you wanna call it. So I bought this, I don't know if you can see it, this typical one, which is plastic but extended, it makes it a little bit easier the operation. Um, five dollar, I think it is. But anyway, uh, I also changed the gas tube, like I mentioned in the previous video. Previous one, the previous one go, was damaged. That being said, as you can see, um, I'm gonna show you how it's gonna work. So in order to do that, you pretty much push this button over here, and you can take out the magazine. Like I said, it's a little bit stiff now. I might need to remove a little bit of wood, maybe, or file a little bit of wood, or maybe it's the magazine need to be. Operate the magazine a couple of times, might be easier. But like I said, then once you insert the magazine, you just need to do just let me know like this. See, it's getting a little bit easier um, each time you do it. And like I said, you pretty much turn it on the left, or whatever you want to do. Um, the way it does as ease, these ones, his rifle, I noticed that it actually is able to pull this mag, pull this tab, and the magazine actually uh, is falling down freely. So that might take a little bit of time while I need to file the stock. How can I? Want to keep it like this? It is halfway between modern and antique. Uh, also because the stock wasn't really cheap and had to find a Rico one. And actually, to now, I like the all the scratches and then to make a battle worn look, which I like. Uh, anyhow, let me drop this rifle for a second. With that, also he sent me. There was the main actually discussion subject of discussion with him actually on Facebook. He sent me one of these uh, useful thingy, uh, useful thingy. Uh, Magazine cleaning pad, or what you want to call it, it's for a K47. As you can see from the front side, it's an Orinco actually. Really cool, actually. I have a similar one, but actually, I like this one better. Really sturdy, and you can actually um, 
clean your guns without afraid to scratching them or, or ruin the material on the top of it. And it's actually, I believe, is also resistant to oil and all the lubrificant, which is actually kind of important thing. Uh, it's also sent me a big box of uh, HD targets. Uh, really cool, those sticky targets, as you can see, which you can actually repair somehow and keep shooting, so they give you an idea actually what you're doing. And then you got also, uh, so kind of cool too, and some different ones. This one actually even allows you to sight your rifle. Really cool. So anyhow, I want to thank you, thank you very much, Zombie Ras and all the crew for helping me with the project and also for sending me this back box of goodies. I'm gonna leave the link to their YouTube channel, uh, Instagram, if I'll be able to. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure you can follow information on YouTube. But thank you for watching. Thank you again to Zombie Rush for the help. And I'll see you next time. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.